It's been super hot. Today it's not. It's nice and windy. Chris is here. Gonna help me take off these spindles and lower control arms. So, don't mind my hair. I just got out of the shower. But today we're gonna be swapping the spindles. My car's been giving me this crazy problem where it's been grinding hell of and I think it's the wheel bearing and I know the brake rotor is bad. So on my EK I have brand new brakes drilled and slotted and new wheel bearings and new ball joints and new LCAs. So all of that's gonna get wrapped up into one. Right now, while I took a shower, Chris actually started working on it for me because he's a good guy. So afterwards, he doesn't know yet, once we fix it, we're gonna go to the junkyard. I think I'm gonna get him his new alternator because his alternator just broke. So hopefully you guys enjoy. About to get to that. This man Chris was moving. I told him wait for me a little bit. <clears throat> Damn. That's the hard race LCAs. That's the, the drilled and slotted brakes. This rust is just surface rust, right? It'll come yeah, right yeah, off. Yeah. The first time you hit the brakes, you won't have nothing, but it'll just scrape all that shit off. Okay. What is that? Is that like a torque mount, or is that necessary, the arm? Yeah, um, I tried to take it off, uh, just the hard race thing at first, but I forgot about this pressed in stud right here. So I just took the whole um, compliance pushing up. So those go together. Oh, those are new anyway, though, my compliance bushings. Oh, yeah? Yeah, remember we changed them, so. Brand new compliance bushings, too. So we gotta get this passenger side out, and then we'll see what we put that in. Getting the uh, tie rod in right there. There's spitters everywhere, huh? And it's like shimmy underneath it. Yeah, unfortunately, I was gonna do this side because your boy don't exactly fit underneath the car next to the wall. So Chris gonna be Mr. Nice Guy again. We got the ball, uh, the ball joint for the tie rod out. Now we're gonna get the lower ball joint. Oh no, we don't need the lower ball joint. What are we doing next? Upper ball joint? Oh, the upper control arm and the compliance bushing and the other bolt holding the LCA in and whole thing out. And then I'll pull that car up. Oh wait, one more. <laughs> Fucking strut. <laughs> oh shit. I have to punch the shit out of the frame of your car when I'm pulling out the upper one. I mean, my my finger hurts. Oh. Did you get me a 17 wrench? How you feel, Chris? Oh, at this point, I probably should have just taken out the whole damn subframe. Fuck no. Uh, change the EK subframe. Alright. Auto? Is that auto? What are you looking at? Uh, number 2. Or 13. 14. What? Or, what is it? 14. Mm -hmm. Out of date. Oh. So they charged us to get in. Forgot about that. It's fucking hot. It's not hot in Antioch, but it's hot in Oakley. Don't make no damn sense. I think it's just hot in here. Because of all this bullshit. What's that? Um, TL engine. Oh shit, 3.2 V6 here. I hate this place. I can never breathe fucking dust in my lungs. Some guy's coming in on a little ATV. I'm about to steal it. I'm about to hit a lick. Oh, he got stopped. Damn. Can't hit the lick. All right. So I see my boy works here. I just stopped and talked to him. 
He was the one on the ATV. I was about to rob my boy. Not just playing. But found a bunch of accords. See anything you can you can use or what? I think they might have already taken all the He said there was a big ass pile of them up front. I'm trying to take that shit because it's hot. And I ain't trying to dig through no fucking car engine bay right now. Alright, after like an hour at the junkyard, we got the parts. Chris got the parts. <laughs> I couldn't fucking breathe in that dust. But anyway, we're back on the way home now. Uh, gonna put the spindles on, bleed the brakes, and have a fucking working car, damn it. And hopefully it stiffens up my steering. Those LCAs should do work on my steering and shit, right? Yeah, it should feel a lot more solid. Cause my shit be way heavy. So we're back. Sorry if there's a ton of wind noise. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, Chris got his alternator, but we are ready to get back on this. So we gotta take off the passenger side of my car, get that spindle out, put it back on the EK, then do the driver's side, put it on the car, take it out, put it back on the EK, and that stays a roller. That's upgraded. You following along here? You following along? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, gonna jack the car up, take the wheel off. So got the wheel off, it's jacked up, I'm gonna take off the axle nut. But I'm feeling low, it's weighing me down. I play your beat, then get lost in the sound. My work is profound. Got pronouns that'll make the whole club bounce. High enough to reach the heavens, it's never ending. The amount of rappers who just pretended. Me, I'm 101, and as real as they come, they're playing dumb, and they wonder what they stick in crumbs. Loafing while we're getting bread, we stay ahead. All right, well, that shit came that out effortlessly. I didn't even really get a record or anything. But we just got to take the strut off. The up control arm's already out. The lower control arm's already out. Oh, no, we don't take the lower control arm. I mean, the tie rod. The tie rod's already off. That's the unit. Yeah, but the tie rod's already off. Yeah, but the tie rod's already off. Yeah, but the tie rod's already off. It's out of there. Okay. So, this bushing looks shot as fuck. What else, Chris? What else looks bad about this spindle? Oh, this shit just looks nasty. We'll put in hard race. So the ball joints on the EG stock ones are trash. Clearly. Nice and stiff. Nice and stiff. And so the EG one. Like, yeah, I could probably like hit it like this hard enough and it'll just snap out. Yeah, so. It's a good thing I'm doing this. So, I didn't really get to film much. I was down there helping. I was getting my hands dirty too. Um, but, we got the other, uh, the other spindle on. Um, the compliance bushings didn't fit. They're not EK to EG. But the lower control arm still is. Uh, the sway bar is annoying. I'm not looking forward to bleeding the brakes tomorrow. But it's getting late in the day, even though it doesn't seem like it, because it doesn't get to, uh, it doesn't turn nighttime until nine o'clock now in California. But it's getting hella late. Chris has to get his car fixed still. Um, and we gotta eat some dinner, so. I think we're just gonna do this passenger side and pick up tomorrow where we left off. So, probably done filming for today. Just putting everything back together. So, until tomorrow. Your boy got those talents, you know what I'm talking about? No more battery light. Yeah, shout out to Taylor for buying me the alternator after I fucking helped him for all day on his fucking car, you know what I'm saying? I still gotta go back. As a yeah. I be shooting like a turret, tire scurry when I hit the gas, always in a hurry. Hitting top speeds, vision become blurry, but I still see the picture, so don't ever be worried. I hit the brakes when the time is right. Don't have hindsight, only moving up in this life. That's one direction, very narrow angle for sight. And I'm only one dude, but I get paid like five mics. From now on, the only moving is forward. And like I packed up a Honda, did it by my own accord. What's in store? Let me peek in the future, hopefully.